Hello my fellow Linux gamers, today I'm going to be doing a gameplay and commentary of Unreal Tournament for Linux. Yes, this is the first Unreal Tournament uh, from 1999 and it still runs on modern systems as long as uh, you have the correct drivers and stuff installed. I believe I did have to install a few 32-bit uh, drivers in order to get this game running. And another thing that unfor that's very unfortunate about this game is because of its age, it doesn't properly work with Pulse Audio because this game was designed to use OSS, which was the standard back then. So I did have to download a few packages for uh, a few pack a few uh, packages that added OSS emulation for Pulse Audio, and then I had to make it to where the kernel boots them. It was a bit it was a bit of a process, but if you guys would like to know how I did it, just go ahead and mention it in the comments and I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do it. But uh, yeah, anyway, the uh, this is the main menu of the game. It's got a bit of a weird interface. You see you got your toolbars here, which you click on, and it shows you your options. Of course, you have preferences where you can adjust things like your uh, resolution, color depth, your the skin for the main menu, and all that stuff. You get a fair bit of options to play with. You get... Uh, you can change your handiness. I have it set to center, but I don't think it really matters. Uh, you can adjust your character's skin here and customize your character. Although you don't, it's not very in depth. I mean, you just you change your name, you select what team you prefer to be on, your class, skin, and face, and then your voice. It's not uh, terribly in depth, you know. I mean, it's just uh, very straightforward selection of predefined options. I'm a commando mercenary. Whatever that means. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into single player. Now I'm gonna go to resume save tournament because I did play this game. I've been playing this game uh, a good bit this past week, so I can get good at it and have a lot of things to talk about. Now, uh, see here, I have I already beat deathmatch, which is why the little trophies there and uh, that unlocked domination. Once I beat domination, I think I get capture flag. I'm not too sure what's next, but uh, yeah. This is the single player. It's not very. It's not a very in-depth story. I mean, the story of the game is you're just a participant in the Unreal Tournament. Yes, it's it's called that in the game, and you're just trying to win it so you can get you know fame, glory, riches, all that stuff. Now, uh, once you select your game mode, you gotta select what map you want to play. And in order to unlock. Uh, in order to unlock domination, I had to beat all these deathmatch uh, uh, maps, which did take a while. And see here, you get the map name, the frag limit, which is what you have to get to to win, and you get a description of the map, which is pretty nice. You know, they give you a lot of backstory to each map and stuff. And then you get to see once you select what match you want to play, you get to see the, your opponents. You know, you get their name, their class, and then a description. Anyway, let's just go ahead and jump right in. See here, press fire to start, and boom, bam, there we go. Now, right off the bat, one of the first things I noticed about this game is it uh, it has an, ama an amazing soundtrack. Like, I was really blown away by how, uh, well, how well it is, how good it is, excuse me. And uh, another unique thing about this game is that every weapon has a primary fire and an alternate fire. Like you see here, I love click and in the case of the flat cannon, my primary fire is the shell blast and the right fire is sort of a grenade that explodes on impact. There's nothing up here. I think this is where the reaver spawns, which is sort of the like OP, OP weapon of the game, but you only get to fire it once. It's the sort of thing you use if you're in last place. You just want to get a quick kill. See. Hopefully I can kill someone and get a decent gun. Uh, let's see here. Whoa. There's the flat, clan flat cannon, my favorite weapon. Damn it. Keep getting killed. Not able to get anything decent. Oh, minigun. Uh, it takes a good bit of bullets to kill him with the minigun. I'll st and it takes a good bit more if you're bad at aiming like me. <laughs> Oh, I killed him, I think. Grab the rocket launcher. 
be, yeah. but yeah, as I was saying about primary and alternate fires, you see the rocket launcher. Here. Of course, you fire a rocket as your primary fire, and your secondary fire is this grenade, which is pretty interesting. I don't really find much use for the grenade, but uh, and again, I'm not really a professional at this game. Let's grab the. F oh, get shot. I do not have much life left at all. There we go. I got a decent bit now. Now you can see my you can see my life and armor count on the higher right there, and on the lower right you can see my ammo. At the bottom you can see my weapons and also my and my scores in the lower left indicated by the skull. You could, and with the rocket launcher you can also hold left click and sort of charge it up and shoot multiple rockets at once. One of the things I love about this game is how when you blow up enemies with like explosive weapons how they're they just get jibbed like you see all their body parts and stuff fly everywhere. A lot of games today don't really do that at least in the same same style. Let's go ahead and go to the flak cannon. This is my favorite weapon in the game. It's basically just the shotgun of this game. It's a very fun weapon. It's always satisfying getting kills with it. Oh man, my aim is horrible today. Whoa. Sniper rifle, all right. Snipe some enemies, whoa. Damn it. Uh, I think getting a sniper rifle was a bad idea. <laughs> Ah, die! Bile slug weapon. It's a bit of a weird weapon. I only got eight more kills till I win. Let's go. Yeah, let's grab the minigun. Minigun's a fun gun to use, although you don't really do much damage with it. Dual wield pistols. Yeah, once you kill an enemy that has pistols equipped and you run over their body, you actually get two of them. Which is cool. Alright, flat cannon. Let's do this. So, yeah, like I said, the soundtrack is pretty good. It really gets you in the mood for some Unreal Tournament or for some fragging. Depending however you want to say it. Alright, I only got about one more kill left. All right, got it. So a little bit of air humping right there. But yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into a domination match. Show you guys the domination game mode. Now we're gonna go do garden. All right, now it's showing my opponents. Then it actually shows my team. Oh, actually, I think these are my teammates because this is a team-oriented. Uh, game mode. This is my enemies. Yeah, I believe I'm on red. Yeah, I'm on the red team. So yeah, the point of domination is uh, there are these control points like you see right there and the whole point of it is you're supposed to run over it and capture it for your team. Like right there, you see now it's on my team. Now I control that area and once uh, 
an enemy runs over that, it becomes their control point. It's very simple, straightforward game mode. But fun though. Definitely fun. Ah, die! Oh, they done messed up. Give me my favorite weapon. Oh. <laughs> I'm killing myself with it. Wow. It's embarrassing. Yeah, oftentimes the bots say weird things like, uh, especially that Mariana girl. She always says weird shit. They don't, man, they're not getting any of the control points. They're just getting owned right now. Oop, who's shooting that? Oh, see right there, he just captured the bottom control point. All right, so they got center, which means right here. Whoa, gotcha. Center is right here, I believe, yeah. So yeah, we got this place down on lock. All right, they got top, so let's gotta run up here. Sneak my way past this corner. Ah! Oh, but that'd be someone there. Bottom. Alright, so now I gotta run over here. Whoa! Not expect to see someone behind that door. Oh, crap, they got two of them. Wait, we got top. Ah! I'm forgetting where the control points are. Oh, my team already captured them. Wow. Center. Oh, no! Lost my flat cannon. Whoa, it's bugged out there. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. I'm using a pulse rifle for a bit, so this video isn't too repetitive. Oh, crap, they got all of them first. They had all of the control points for a second. Yeah, they got bottom controlled pretty good. Locked down pretty good. Whoa. Whoa. No one on bot no one on bottom, that's kinda weird. Usually there's always at least one person on one of the control points. Oh, they done goofed. Gave me my favorite weapon. It's getting real. Bottom. They keep getting bottom. This would be their favorite base to capture. Oh, looks like we won. All right. Anyway, yeah, I think two matches is enough uh, footage. Anyway, yeah, this is the end of my Unreal Tournament gameplay and commentary. If you guys have any feedback, remember to leave it in the comment section. Uh, if you liked the video, please comment as to why, and if you dislike it, do the same. Uh, anyway, Ghost Squad 57 signing out.